In this video, we are going to focus on solving physics problem about electric charge. A common static electricity involves charges ranging from nanocoulombs to microcoulombs. How many electrons are needed to form a charge of ne negative two nanocoulombs? So, one nanocoulomb is equal to ten to the negative ninth power coulombs, and one electron is equal to one point six. Or two times ten to the negative nineteenth power coulombs. So to solve part A of problem one, you need to convert nano coulomb to coulombs, and then convert coulombs to the number of electrons. So since we are worried about um, number of electrons, so we don't really care about the negative sign here. So we're just gonna take the absolute volume of neg negative two nano coulombs. So two nano coulombs um, times um, since you want coulombs you need to have nano coulomb on the bottom because you want to cancel the unit out and you need to have um, coulomb on the, on the top right. so one cou coulombs is equal to 10 to negative 9 power coulombs and then you need to convert coulomb to a uh, number of electrons so one electron is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th power of coulombs. Um, now the unit cancels out. And you get the total number of electrons, which is equal to uh, 1.24a times 10 to the 10th power of electrons. So this is the answer for part A. Part B asks how many electrons must be removed to f uh, from a neutral object to leave a net charge of 0 0.5 microcoulombs. So in order to have a charge of 0 0.5 microcoulombs, uh, a charge of negative 0 0.5 microcoulombs must be removed so that uh, the object has a excess positive charge of 0 0.5 microcoulombs. So you just need to convert ne negative 5 microcoulomb to a number of electrons. So since we can worry about number of electrons, we do not really care about the sign. So you, I'm just going to take the, the absolute volume. So 0 0.5 uh, microcoulomb, you need to convert that to coulombs. So 1 microcoulomb is equal to 10 to the negative 6 power coulomb and then you need to convert coulomb to number of number of electron so one electron is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 power uh, coulombs and this the unit here cancels out and gives you the number of electron so you should have a number of 3.12 times 10 to the 12th power electron. So this is the total number of electrons you need to remove from the neutral object. To start a car engine, the car battery moves 3.75 times 10 to the 21st power electron through the starter motor. How many, how many coulombs of charge were removed? Um, so you need to convert the number of electrons to coulombs. So 3.75 times 10 to the 21st power uh, was a unit of number of electrons. Uh, and then you need to convert that to coulombs. So one electron has a charge of 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th power. Uh, and now the unit cancels out. And the result will be 600.8 coulombs. Um, but here's the trick. So the, the, the engine removes electrons through the starter motor. An electron has a negative charge, meaning that it gotta be a negative volume for this. So the actual answer for this is um, negative 600.8 coulomb. So this is the, the number of electron. 
Problem number three. A 2.5 gram penny is giving a charge of negative 2 times 10 to the negative 9th power coulomb. How many excess electrons are on the penny? So in this problem, we need to convert uh, the charge to coulomb, uh, number of coulomb. So because you want to find the number of electrons, so you can ignore the negative sign of the charge. So 2 times 10 to the negative 9th power um, coulombs times 1 electron over 1.6 times 10, I mean 1.602. Uh, coulombs. Now the unit cancels out. And you should get a number of 1.248 times 10 to the 10th um, electron. So this is the total number of electron. Part B is asking us what percentage to the excess electron change the mass of the penny. So you know the total number of electron. So you can calculate the total mass of electron. So one electron has a mass of 9.1 times 10 to the negative 30, 31st um, kilogram, right? Uh, so after you calculate the total mass of electron, you just need to divide it uh, by 2.5, and you need to convert gram to kilogram, so you need to divide 2.5 by a thousand. So the total mass of electron is equal to 1.248 times 10 to the 10th power. Um, the, the the unit is electron, and then you need to calculate the total mass of um, this number of electron. So one electron has a mass of uh, 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31st kilogram. And then you need to convert, and then you need to divide it by the mass. So you need to divide it by 2.5, which is equal to, uh, time, which is equal to one, so you just need to multiply the reciprocal of 2.5 gram. And then you need to convert gram to kilogram. So now the unit cancels out. Kilogram, kilogram. And you should get a number of uh, four point five four five times ten to the negative eighteenth power, which is equal to um, four point five four five times ten to the ne negative sixteenth power percentage. So this is the answer for problem three. Into the twentieth. Power electron moves through a pocket calculator during a full day's operation. How many coulombs of charge uh, move through it? So for this problem, same thing, you need to convert number of electrons to coulombs. So 1.8 times 10 to the 20th power electron uh, times 1 electron over 1.6 times 10 to I mean 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th power of coulombs uh, and the units cancel out. Problem 4. If 1.8 times 10 to the 20th power moves through a pocket calculator during a full day's operation, how many coulombs of charge move through it? So you need to convert number of electrons to coulombs. Um, so 1.8 times 10 to the 20th power electron times 1 electron is equal to 1.6 times 1.602 times 10 to the negative 
19th power of coulombs and the unit cancel salt um, which gives you a number of 28.836 coulombs um, but because it's electron moving through the calculator so the number gotta be a negative volume so um, the final answer is equal to 28.836 was a negative volume so ne negative 28.836 cool so this is the final answer Cooper penny is giving a charge of 4 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. How many electrons are removed from the penny? So we just need to convert uh, this charge to the total number of electrons. So 4, 4 times 10 to the negative 9 power um, coulombs times 1 electron over 1.60 2 times 10 to the negative 19th power of coulombs, which is equal to 2.496 times 10 to the 10th power um, electron, which is approximately equal to 2.5 times 10 to the 10th power electron. So this is the total number of electron. And part B asks what percentage of atoms are ionized, ionized by this charging process? So to do this, you need to find uh, the total number, the removed number of electron or total number of atom. So now we just need to find the total number of atoms. So we know the element is Cooper, and Cooper has a atomic mass of um, 36.456, so let me do this. And the atomic number of 20, 29. I think it's 29. Uh, now, you know the mass of the Cooper, so you can calculate the total number of mole. So 2.5 grams times, so here this number represents 36.546 gram per mole. So you, we, don't, we don't want gram, we want the number of mole. So gram is on the bottom and mole is on the top. So one mole is equal to 36.546 Gram, which give us a number of 0.03934 moles. So this is a total number of moles of 2.5 gram Cooper penny. We also know that one mole is equal to 6.0026.023 times 10 to the 23rd power atoms. So this is how much atoms a mole of adamant can contain. So you, you know the total moles of uh, Cooper, Cooper adamant, so you can calculate the total number of atoms it contains. So 0.03934 moles times 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd is equal to um, 2 point, 2.369 times 10 to the 22nd power. So this is the total number of atoms it contains. Now we just need to divide it by the total number of electrons removed by the total number of atom uh, the Cooper pin contains. So 
2.5 times 10 to the 10th power over 2.369 times 10 to the 22nd power. It's going to give us a answer of 1.055 times 10 to the negative 10th percentage. So this is the answer for part B.